from the News Channel 5 Network. This is Score Connect. Hi, and welcome to Score Connect. I'm your host, Anavia McLean. I am also a Score mentor here in Nashville. Score is a national organization of volunteer mentors that help entrepreneurs and small business owners grow. We are excited to be able to partner partner with News Channel 5 Plus on Score Connect, where we bring you real conversations with business leaders in the Nashville area so that we can learn from their experiences, their resource, tips, tricks, everything they've got to give you. Um, um, and I'm excited to be here today with Clark Buckner. Clark is the co-founder and partner of Relationary Marketing, and he's also on the team at the Nashville Entrepreneur Center. Um, and I know she's not a former staff member, but I always have to mention our favorite pup, uh, uh, Sassy. Sassy Pup. Sassy Pup is our favorite. So I always, I just shout out to Sassy I mean, Pup. Sassy, that's the reason for the season. <laughs> that's exactly. Um, Clark is also the co-founder of the Nashville Podcasting Group. He is a Belmont alumni and is now a professor at Belmont as well. And so we are happy to have him here today to talk to us about all of the podcasting things. Yes, the, podcasting. Everyone needs a podcast, right? Every maybe. person needs maybe. Th maybe. That's a great way to jump in. Technically, podcasting has been around since 2005, which is kind of does unbelievable. Does that predate Facebook? Was it, it Facebook 06? It probably does. I mean, it was introduced by Steve Jobs, combining the words broadcast and iPod. Interesting. I just learned that right here at this moment. But podcasting really it's been steadily growing every year but when you look at 2014 2015 because of the rise of the mm -hmm. smartphone yeah you had podcasts like serial mm -hmm. who became a household name a yeah. lot of these big shows podcasting became like oh what's a podcast to oh what podcasts are, are you, you listening, listening to? to yeah yeah so i started listening to a podcast while i was at belmont mm -hmm. 2012 and basically long story short it provided a way to feel a lot more connected to content and to yeah. creators than just a blog post or even just video. So by listening, because it's an intimate form. Yeah. You can't be any closer. Right here. Right here. A lot of times people are commuting mm -hmm. alone. Maybe they're I washing run. the dishes. You're yeah. running, you're walking sassy pup, whatever you're doing, <laughs> you are able to passively consume that. And that's why I'm really optimistic that podcasting even though it's a noisy world mm -hmm. a lot of content and taking one breath eight hours of content were just uploaded to YouTube alone that's just one of the many platforms so there's a lot of noise but why wow. I believe podcasting will continue to rise is because you have that dedicated time when you can't be looking at a screen yeah. the commute yeah. the run so audio content is here it's to stay. growing. Yeah. It's here to stay and it's going to continue growing. Yeah. So you mentioned you heard this podcast while you were in school at Belmont, which I met you right after you graduated from Belmont when I was still, I think, at the City Club. It's been a minute. But um, but you you got inspired there. So how, how did you take it from hearing your first podcast to starting Relationary Marketing and producing podcasts for other people? How did you decide that that was going to be your entrepreneurial journey? Hey, entrepreneurs, it's just <laughs> starting really small. It just came out. There's a podcast about Seth Godin. And a okay. guy had created a podcast about Seth Godin. So I found this little tribe mm -hmm. of people who were following the show. And by just reaching out and getting connected, I eventually connected with this guy. His name's Andy Traub. It's just okay. like way out on the other side of the country. <laughs> but I became connected to this whole community of online marketers, mm -hmm. people working in s social media. Yeah. And I eventually, I started a little podcast at Belmont. Mm -hmm. um, we had Lisa Davis, Lisa Bird now, Dr. Jeff Cornwall, they let me record in some of the Belmont studios and just interviewing speakers coming to campus. And that oh, yeah. relationship nurturing of talking to someone, hearing their story, that's what created this path and that's actually where the name relationary comes from because mm -hmm. podcasting, it's intimate. You can use it to develop relationships yeah. and connect people to a message. So about seven years ago, after working at a couple companies locally, I got to go, me and my business partner, a guy named Chuck Bryant, we started this up together, just me and him. Fast forwarding to today, we work with fantastic clients like mm -hmm. Finn Partners, uh, local, 
PR firms, agencies, small businesses, yeah. all, of the, all of the above. So, And all of the EC work, too, the Entrepreneur do, Center. Yeah, yeah. And, and at the same time, <laughs> it was actually when I kind of left this previous company, I went to work on the team at the Nashville Entrepreneur Center. And technically, I've never been full-time, but it's enabled me to be part of yeah. this nonprofit community mm -hmm. supporting entrepreneurs. The mission there is to create, launch, and grow businesses. And it takes mentors, as you know, and yeah. scores an amazing partner in Nashville. The EC, the Nashville Entrepreneur Center, supports a community, mentors, space, yeah. curriculum. And just today, entrepreneurs, you can't go it alone. Gone are the yes. days where you're tinkering <laughs> in a garage somewhere because now you have to be in a community. So yeah. that's why I've loved to continue to grow on the team, be part of the change and see Nashville become yeah. just more and more. So it's been a, a huge blessing. I love being part of the EC team and, and also doing my own business yeah. and getting to do both. Well, it's great that you can. And one of the things that keeps coming up over and over again, Clark, is community. You keep using this word community, which I think um, it, it's one of the reasons that when we when we started back with Score Connect and we wanted to sort of like connect people, it was specifically because post-COVID, right, people lost a lot of that connectivity in that community. Mm -hmm. And a lot of entrepreneurs, small business owners, were starting lots of new businesses, but felt lost. They felt isolated. They felt secluded. And they wanted to get back to a community. So um, one of the things that I love about, like you said, Relationary Marketing, the Entrepreneur Center, the Nashville Podcasting Group, is that it's providing that community where people can come in. And whether it's specifically podcasts or just trying to grow your business, there's help and guidance and support to do that. So with your work in those those different groups, specifically around podcasting, as small business owners are listening to podcasts and they're some of it's for entertainment. You mentioned right. cereal. Yeah, that's a big podcast. I listen to a Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Yeah. I love I'm a big D and D nerd and I that's love really the, cool. What's your character? What's your um, do you play? Oh gosh, I do play. Yeah, I play a lot. I have a I dungeon master a game, and then my boyfriend also DMs a game. And um, okay. in his game, I am a um, I am a gnome druid. So okay. for all of you who just didn't know that whole you know, side of me, the and the of, big dork. That's that the beauty <laughs> of small <laughs> tribe communities and podcasting yeah. is a part of connecting in all of this community. It is. is. So it we is. need it more than ever right yeah. now. And it's so great that we are at a point in the EC was able to survive and support entrepreneurs, mm -hmm. made some pivots, made changes, just yeah. like entrepreneurs do. But, but, the, but the community the is important part. The community is very important. Yeah. So, but the Nashville podcast, I want to get yes, on that for a Nashville second if you don't mind. Nashville podcasters community, we're now one of the largest podcaster meetups in the country. It was started, jeez, we probably started this maybe six, five or six years ago, a guy named Angus Nelson, mm -hmm. myself. Um, a, a variety of people who've been part of this local, it's nobody owns it, okay? We're all 100% volunteers. It really grew out of, there's something a long time ago called Pod Camp and Bar Camp and Craft Content. Oh, I remember all the camps. All of these, yeah. all of these local, like, you know, and it's just meetup groups. That was a huge part before COVID. But anyway, we kind of grew out of this mm -hmm. to have our own community. So. We just meet every month, just like a good podcast. Yeah. Any kind of content you're making, you have to stay consistent. Yeah. So every single month yeah. we have met. And it's free. We always meet the second Wednesday night of the month. Yeah. And it's for anybody. All voices, especially now, all voices matter more than ever. We need to bring together the diversity. all yeah. of these perspectives and bring the community together. So it's, it's, it's part of this fabric of what makes Nashville yeah. what it is. So I have a question about that because you said, you know, it's all voices. And I want to be conscientious that, like, business owners are busy, man. We have plenty to do. And podcasting can be a good tool. And we do need to hear mm. from different voices. Is podcasting for everyone? Is there certain, are there certain industries or groups that are um, more successful in podcasting? Like when, when you say, hey, you should come to the Nashville Podcasters Group. Right. Is there like, this is where you kind of need to be as a business owner to get that value out of podcasting? I believe people listen to podcasts for two reasons. Entertainment, like we were talking about that show earlier, or something that can help them become better. 
maybe you can call it self-help or maybe it's helping them with their business. Sure. So if some a business owner is thinking, well, should I do a podcast? And the answer is it depends. Mm -hmm. So podcasting, just like any, it's just one tool in the toolbox. Yeah. And it takes a lot of time to do this stuff. And there's a lot of opportunities to decide is this is a podcast for you and I'll later on we can talk yeah, about yeah. If, if you decide it is aligned with your goals. I want criteria. We're, yeah. we're going to go through that <laughs> but it depends and a lot of times I'll tell people hey you know what based on what you're trying to do you might not need a one you might yeah. there's other tools. That's interesting. I'd like to hear more about how you help people decide especially because relationary marketing does this and you have to help guide people into what that looks like um, and also just some tips on how to get started and we will talk more about that when we come back from the break. Please join us.